You want your song to do well, and release day is one of those weird days where you can kind of go off and be annoying and everyone gets it. You get to have a chance at finally grabbing the attention away from all those other people who are asking your audience for it each day because you have the most valuable thing, a new song that they might love. And perhaps you'll finally get that guy who has that sexy his mom drank while pregnant stare you find attractive for some reason to listen to your song. Or I mean a bunch of your potential fans will finally spread your song to their friends and you'll get into the algorithm in a big way and everyone will like it and your life will change. Okay. But most of all, this is a chance to set the song you believe in up for success. So let me tell you how to do this as good as possible so we launch your song into the algorithm of Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and of course get fans to text it to their other friends. So obviously your release day is a day to call attention to yourself. Since you have the number one thing on your side that can help get your music more fans, you know, a new song. Great. So let's call attention to you. And for those of you who get shy about promotion, think of it this way. This is essentially your birthday, which is why I sang that ridiculous song at the top of this. The day fans will allow you to call attention to yourself and even forgive those annoying story shares and retweets where fans pour adoration on you. Really, this is the one day it's all tolerable. Today is the day to remind people to listen to your track. Let's also remember that one of the main ways people end up checking out your music is they feel like they've seen your name enough times that psychologically, they feel like they need to know who you are to be able to have conversations with other people they know and that knowing you will be helpful in the future since they're seeing your name so much they feel the need to know who you are. So if your 10 fans are sharing your announcement because you did in fact make a banger, you're chipping away at the stone of some of their friends finally checking you out. So when your name comes up with more people sharing it, as people will see it in more places, the chance of them investigating and listening to your track becomes more and more likely. And this is how you build that, since so after those people listen to it, and if they're rinsing it repeatedly, that signals to all the algorithms that you should be in the algorithm, they should be showing it to more people. So now that we understand this, what do you do to do that? First off, if you've been collecting email addresses, I really want to make sure you fire up an email right at midnight to your email list that tells people to listen to your song. And I want you to make sure that you do more than just say, my new song, Fit Check at the Holocaust Museum, is out now on all streaming services. Instead, we want to do what I coined as emotional song marketing, which is to tell the listener how they will feel if they listen to it. For example, I just released my sick new ripper, dabbing on the way to death, jamming and you'll headbang your head off. And that's great if you make some crazy metal song. Or maybe, I just dropped the most tragic love song you've ever heard. I fell in love with a girl with the MAGA tramp stamp. And that's great for that ridiculous ballad you just wrote. What I'm saying here is if you can get an emotion in line with your song and tell the audience that they will probably feel that way if they listen to it, it's way more likely that they're gonna stream your song. Since if you're telling them an emotion they would rather feel than the one they're feeling right now, that's what gets people to listen the music since let's remember at its core music is a mood altering drug that makes you feel a way you'd rather feel so use that to your advantage if you want to learn more about this it's in one of my videos in the description or in one of my newsletter issues but in addition to that email if you've been collecting text messages the same goes here for a quick brief text with a link to play your song on Spotify and YouTube, which goes quite far. Since one of the things to remember, both Spotify and YouTube are a measure of your early momentum, and Spotify is deciding whether to put you in the algorithm for playlists like Release Radar, Discover Weekly, and that insufferable AI DJ, and tons of those other AI playlists, whereas YouTube really judges by your early performance and yeah, you can recover if early days don't do well, but the best way to get this off the ground is to use every minute your video is out to build momentum. And truly, one of the things I've really seen is these emails and texts. I know a lot of you don't believe me and you think your audience is too old for this, but you're wrong. We see it all the time that this can increase your popularity score and really, really put you in the algorithm. So collecting those by trading an email address or a text message for like an unreleased song, a cover, a remix, whatever, really, really can help you build a fan base. But let's hold on for one second because today's video is brought to you by our friends at Banzoogle, who are my favorite easy way to create a good looking website for musicians. Banzoogle websites are built by musicians for musicians. Banzoogle is an all-in-one platform that makes it easy to build a stunning website and online store for your music in minutes. And all the features you need are already built in, including dozens of fully customizable templates. Tools to sell your music and merch commission free. Mailing list tools to grow your fan list. And they have integrations with Bandcamp, SoundCloud, YouTube, Bands in Town, and more. So you can easily add your content from other profiles and make this website fast. And they offer really good live support from their musician-friendly team seven days a week. Website plans start at just $8.29 a month, which includes hosting and your own free custom domain name. 
My viewers can go to bandzoogle.com to try for free for 30 days and use the promo code MUSEFORMATION to get 15% off the first year of any subscription. That's bandzoogle.com promo code MUSEFORMATION. And the link is down in the description as well. So please use that to support the channel and get the best website you can make easily from Bandzoogle. Next we have to take advantage of one of the most under-discussed opportunities musicians don't take advantage of, which is the YouTube Premiere. The YouTube Premiere has two advantages, in that it goes into the subscription feed and will remind people you're doing this premiere for up to a week, or at least that's what I find optimal, so that when people are browsing through their feeds looking for something to watch, they have the option to click a reminder and be reminded when your video comes out. This allows your signal to create awareness before it's out in the feed and afterwards increase the chances of it getting heard. But the real advantage it gives you is that you can have a chat in the premiere and do bonding with fans so when they talk to their friends about you and spread the word about your music since they've just learned more about you, they'll have more things to say about you and what they experience that day. Just be sure to let all your followers on social media know you'll be hanging out in the chat during the premiere. A nice tweak I like to do is these premieres should happen when your YouTube analytics say the majority of your subscribers are online. And I bet that's probably around noon EST, which will shock some of you. So you can wait to post your video version till noon and then do it as a premiere where you can hang out there for it. And yes, you can announce this a week before since so many of you are dying to start announcing your new song and can't believe I have to tell you pre-saves and teasing aren't the best way to promote a song when you have a small fan base. And if you're more curious about this, hit the description since one of the newsletters I'm putting out in my newsletter, Music Marketing Trends, is all about this and it's free. But this also has a benefit since I'm about to re-release my 60-day release plan for promoting your music for this year. I think a lot of you figured out what was going to change in there and that's instead of putting up a video with just your album cover on the first day, I now suggest putting up a video style I call minimum viable videos. These are really minimum videos that you can make fast with just a little bit of motion. And this is since if you're promoting your music on Reels, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts, the ADHD scrolling destroyed attention spans are used to video with motion. So now low budget videos with a little motion you film for very cheap are getting millions of views and you can do this and it will help your music video do well. And that should come out on release day. Which brings me to tip two, which is to remember that social media does not have a perfect time. There are people who read social media in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and even at midnight, which we have to remember is 9 p.m. on the West Coast if you're on the East Coast. And then there's the whole rest of the world. So since we're allowed to post anything you want, you have to remember you need to post all day long. And this also means at midnight when your song drops, you should make a story on IG and TikTok and threads and Twitter to interact with the night owls. Then rise and shine in the morning and get a post up first thing and do the same. Then around lunch you need to be there yet again using these analytic tools like we discussed before and make sure you remind everyone to meet you on the chat of the YouTube for the premiere of your new song. And yes, even if you've been linking everyone to your new song on Spotify, and even if it's just a single screen video or a minimum viable video, you can still do this. And you can even do it again when your music video drops and you put a lot of effort into that video. And that brings me to what I love to do for that reminder, which is our third tip, which is to do an Instagram or TikTok live, whichever platform you do better with, with any of the producers producers, mixers, or other collaborators on your song. And I like to even repeat this if you do a music video a month later, to do it with the directors, actors, or dancers who are in the video, and you could even do it on whichever platform you didn't use on release day. And now it's that you'll be doing this live, and then let the power of Instagram showing all these people your invite as your followers see your name and get alerted to you going live. And then when your friends join you, their followers get alerted that you're live too. This gives you a chance to answer more fan questions and build those bonds that we always talk about. As well as getting new people alerted to that you're live and maybe they'll check you out. And some of you will be thinking, Jesse, I already did a premiere. Why am I going live on the same day? It's your release day. Hog the attention. But there's also a reason. This is becoming a big thing again since for the first time since the pandemic, it's been proven that if you go live, the apps show your videos to more people while you are live. And this will help the likelihood of your post getting spread and your song getting a good first day splash. And this is one of the main things I teach on my member feed every single week. Which by the way, for $5 a month, you get over 6 hours of videos each month where I explain the latest social media trends, answer your questions, listen to your music and give critiques to it, and dissect how the biggest artists in the world are blowing up from zero fans to now making their dreams come true, as well as the latest music promotion methods. I do a Q&A every week, and once a month I listen to any songs my members submit of their music that they want me to listen 
do. So you should really tap in there and there's a link in the description. Next, and I know this is gonna be very shocking if you watch this channel regularly, but if you wanna make sure you have a compelling image of yourself, your album artwork or something else that you can tell a story around and post it to your Instagram carousel. Since anytime you post a grid, it needs to be a carousel since that dramatically increases the reach of your posts. And as well, if you collaborate on your song with anyone, Instagram now allows collaborative carousels. And those are even huger in the algorithm and will get you spread way more. And this is most likely the way you can get someone to go from just seeing your post to actually listening to your music. And that's the goal here, is put your song on this carousel post and let them scroll. Next is the thing you should do once the single is out that so many people forget, which is to go through a list of people who've written about or expressed interest in your music and just check in with them. Ask them what they've been up to and re-up your relationship with them. This doesn't need to be predatory and self-centered. Go through your contacts list and make sure they're aware that you're working hard and what you're doing. Since when you do this, you stay on top of people's minds on what to listen to and who to think of for opportunities. And that's half the battle in this business since reminding people you exist and that you're going hard really does keep these relationships going and help them grow if you check in from time to time. And if you're releasing a song every four to eight weeks, that's a great pace to keep up a friendship and keep up a relationship that will probably grow. And if you keep reminding people you work hard, when it's time for them to do things, they're probably gonna take you along with them. But a lot of you are probably wondering what to do for your short form videos like TikTok Reels and YouTube Shorts. Since I haven't even mentioned that really yet, you're gonna be doing what I call audience finding videos where you try to find the right people for your new songs. And luckily for you, I just made a video on that where I tell you how to make the TikToks, Reels, and Shorts that will hopefully find the fans of your music style who are actually looking for new music. But we wanna put one of those videos up today in order to try to assemble the people most likely to enjoy your songs. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Back in 2020, I made you all a checklist of everything you need to do for your release. And I updated it this week, so it's all nice and refreshed. If you just go to my tools list, you can get it for free. And that link is down in the description. But lastly, I wanna leave you with one important philosophy. Remember, literally no song, even those songs that blow up on TikTok or Reels, do so overnight. They do not blow up on release day. In fact, on that member feed I mentioned before, a lot of them blow up a month, if not months later. Often sometimes when you're promoting a whole other song and they blow up from consistent, sustained promotion. When you're continually reminding people to listen to your music, so many people will reach despair when it's not going well. But allow me to remind you, Lil Nas X has recorded the most popular song of all time and it did nothing on the first day. It was out and he kept pushing it and telling stories around it until it became the most popular song of all time. How much you push and sustain promotion for nine days 18 months is really what matters. So don't get down when things aren't changing on release day and keep pushing. Take the temperature after a week and look at what's working and then push again. So here's the thing, while you just learned what to do on your release day, if you really wanna grow your fan base, you need to understand how to find an audience for your music and the first fans most likely to like your music, which I made a video about and it's on the screen right now. So make sure you watch that next if you really wanna level up. Thanks for watching.